Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. Today is day 27 of free AWS DevOps Zero to Hero series. And in this video, I'm going to explain you top 500 AWS interview questions for DevOps engineers. Yes, you heard it right. We will cover 500 AWS DevOps interview questions, which will cover advanced, which will cover scenario based as well as the theory based questions. Now, if you are a new subscriber or if you haven't watched any of our previous video, just let me tell you that we are doing this 30 days AWS course, which we started almost a month back and we have already done. I mean, we are already done with 26 episodes and today is 27th episode. If you want to understand what did we cover in last 26 days. So this GitHub repository, you can find the link in the description has everything like, you know, right from day one where we have started from introduction to AWS. Even if you are a beginner, you don't know anything about AWS. You can simply start with this series and this series will guide you with each and every step. And we have covered all the popular services till now. Only three videos are left after this, which is nothing but the day 28 would be cloud migration strategies. Day 29 would be AWS best practices for the job preparation where I'm going to share you some tips and tricks on, you know, how to approach for a AWS interview. And finally, there will be a AWS project, which is a three tier architecture project. I'm going to create, explain you how to create a three tier uh, architecture on AWS. We'll be using RDS. So I'm also going to talk something about RDS in that video, and it's going to be a full fledged demo. And each and every concept that we have learned in the previous classes includes theory and a demonstration. Right. So if you are a new subscriber, you can watch these videos. These are not just theory based. We have taken out a lot of time and created these videos so you can learn AWS from fundamentals and practical if you watch the previous episodes. Now, assuming you have watched the 26 episodes. Now, today's episode is very, very important because Okay, you have completed the theory part. You have completed the practical part. Sometime you have to go for an interview. And when you go for an interview, you need some quick reference point, right? So you need some document or you need a place where you can quickly glance over the topics and understand, you know, okay, uh, am I good with this topic? Perfect. What is in the job description? Let's say in the job description, they are looking for someone with good experience on ECS. So you can come here, you can go to this ECS.md and you can quickly go through these interview questions and answers, right? Most of these things we have covered in the theory and the demonstration part, but this document or this GitHub uh, page folder will serve as one point for your interview reference. So that's the whole purpose of creating this 500 interview questions. Now I have not done it on one single day. I have been writing this interview questions, not by my own. I was taking help of AI, ChatGPT, Bard. I was taking help of Medium blogs, LinkedIn. I was collecting this information and I was storing. I actually wanted to uh, provide this as a surprise on day 29, but for some reasons, because I am traveling and because I don't have enough time. Uh, so what I've done is I don't want to delay these videos for you people. So I have swapped day 27 with day 29 and I am presenting you this 500 AWS interview questions in this episode. Now, very simple. What you need to do is if you have watched the previous 26 episodes and if you have performed the theory and demonstration, yes, you can start here. Go for each and every AWS service. Just read through it. Go through the question. If you don't know the answer, you can check the answer. I have created each and every topic with question and answer. And after that, you can watch the advanced interview questions. And finally, you can move to some scenario based interview questions, right? And these scenario based interview questions. Again, I have taken few scenarios from various sources because these days interviewers are mostly concentrating on scenario based interview questions. So I've collected some 30 scenario based AWS interview questions and I've put them together for you. Now, this is not the end of it. I promise some 500 interview questions. I think there are already more than 500 and in future, whenever let's say I'm reading something and I found a scenario on AWS or I'm working on AWS and I feel that, okay, I need to explain you people a specific scenario. I'm going to update this. 
or you can also contribute to this repository to this interview questions folder right so these are the 500 aws interview questions as i promised and please try to first complete the theory and practical part but there are some rare scenarios. Let's say you have an interview tomorrow. Then yeah, uh, if you have interview tomorrow, then it doesn't make sense for you to sit and do the practical today. In such cases, you can quickly come here and go through this uh, material and you can read through this material. But if you have time, like I always tell you, spend time wisely. If you have four hours, spend two hours on your interview preparation and spend two hours on your theory and practicals. Let's say today you are learning AWS ECS do one hour theory do one hour practical at the same time for one hour you have to do your interview preparation where you need to read the interview questions you need to prepare yourself okay if interviewer is asking me this question on ECS this is how I'm going to present right so I hope this repository will help you in such a way and this will help you in getting the AWS DevOps job Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you feel that I have missed any specific topic, do not hesitate to put that in the comment section. Or if you feel that you need more interview questions on a specific topic, still do not hesitate. Put that in the comment section and I'll definitely work on it. And I need your help and support in taking this repository to the next level because we are adding interview questions, we are adding demos. So this will help other DevOps engineers. Right now there are 1100 DevOps engineers who have started this repository. So let's see if you can share this with maximum number of people, probably they will also be benefited out of these video series. So yeah, that's all I have for today's video. And uh, please try to share our channel with anyone who is willing to learn DevOps and cloud. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye.